The impulse to make abstract patterns is hardwired into people of every culture and of every kind. Uh, what's behind me are prints made by a collective of women who live in the Mississippi Delta who are quilters. And they make quilts together and they sing while they make them. And these are as much abstractions as the work of Ellsworth Kelly or of Solowit or of the other artists who are in this collection. And these rhyme absolutely with those kinds of works. Uh, people who have difficulty understanding modern abstraction uh, would do well to remember that, in fact, this kind of abstraction, vernacular, complicated abstraction, is part of American tradition and is a living part of American tradition now. For example, quilting is a, an enterprise, usually collective, where people take scraps of cloth and piece them together to make a useful item, which is a, a bed covering. Uh, but the activity of choosing which patches and of which color and how to combine them becomes the inventive, creative, compositional side of it. So what is motivated by utility ends up in being something that is beautiful and artful in its own right. Uh, and again, here we have a group of African-American women living today making a kind of art that is as old as this country uh, and that is every bit as much art as the kinds of abstraction which is sold in galleries and indeed these prints are now widely sold in American galleries.